Hey guys, very warm welcome to Ahyant Online Academy, and here are we with a new subject that is distributed systems. It is very very important subjects for all computer science exams as well as for semesters exam, as well as for ISRO's BARX, UGC NET, IBPS, SO, and each and every arena of computer science. Hence, if you are preparing for computer science lectures. please watch this video till the end because here we are going to discuss complete distributed systems one by one as it is lecture 1 so our content would be introduction to distributed system its overview definitions and typical diagram of distributed system then we will also discuss types of distributed system here hence it is our request that it is lecture 1 so your response will decide that whether we are going to complete this complete syllabus of distributed system or not so guys please do subscribe before watching this video and one request here is that please do stay tuned till the end of the video as uh, it is a conceptual subject that is why it might require some more patience to understand and listen the complete video right but i am betting you that after watching complete sessions of distributed system from our side you will grasp each and every point of the subject each and every point of the topic right further if you any kind of doubt or query do comment we will try to resolve your all doubts and queries as early as possible guys okay so let's start so here if you will see introduction of distributed system the first question that arises in our mind is what is distributed system as we are discussing the first lecture so in our mind it comes that what is distributed systems right so what it exactly is so the answer is a distributed system is a system whose components are located on different network computers which communicate and coordinate their actions by passing messages to one another from any system so better you can understand it like that suppose a system is there or a network is there from this network different different nodes are connected different different nodes are connected different different computing devices are connected and they might existed they might existed at different geographical locations also right so different computing devices are attached to it different computing devices different digital devices let's say it is node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 node 5 and like that okay so the distributed system is system whose components are located on different network on different network and basically they are passing messages to each other they are passing messages to each other for communication purpose node one can communicate with node two node two can communicate with node three node five can communicate with node one node five can communicate with node three and they all together working in a together working in a same system for a network for a system for achieving a common goal for achieving a common goal so why distributed system is used why distributed system is used so if i talked about it in industry specific if i talk there are lot and lot of big projects right and all these big big projects can't be done on a single machine there are requirement of multiple machines multiple nodes multiple components multiple computing devices it is impossible to do all these steps on a single machine so what is required the requirement is that there should be a system which may located on different geographical locations or at different positions different physical locations which are not together which are separated but still they work together so that the common goal that we want to achieve throughout this system can be achieved so for that purpose distributed system is designed okay so if we take out ibm's definition what it says a distributed computer system consists of multiple software components that are on multiple computers but run as a single system means the software components are here which are different software components it might be mainframes it might be personal computers it might be printers it might be database it might be backend but they all are they all should have to work together as a single system however they might be at the different physical locations they might be separated but by individually putting their effort they must have to obey they must have to run as a single system it is the ibm's definition further if we read it out 
the computers that are in a in distributed system can be physically close together and connected by a local network or they can be geographical distant and connected by a wide area network so if they are together they can be connected with local area network but if they are not together they are physically apart they can be connected with the help of wide area network so distributed system basically works to to come to come uh, to complete to complete multiple devices multiple resources to communicate with multiple devices to run as a single system let us under, let us understand it with a simple example let's say some big project is running in bangalore so some physical devices in new delhi some components are at hyderabad some important nodes are at uh, noida some important computed systems are at uh, lucknow some important computing systems are at indore some com different computing systems are in ahmedabad some nodes are existed at chennai like that now we need to work for a common goal our common goal is to do that project to do that physical project to do that big project let's a banking system so we need to operate in a single network we need to work in a single network from different networks so how it can be done with the help of the concept of distributed system each and every system each and every digital system each and every computing system will work will work may it might be from the different geographical locations but it will put its effort on the same network on the same network and with the help of that our common goal can be achieved with multiple resources which will work as a single machine which will work as a single system okay this concept we will discuss we are going to discuss in this complete subject as it is our initial subject it is a debut subject it is our first lecture so i am just telling you the scenario the exposure of the subject okay one by one when we are going to uh, when we are going to uh, discuss its components and its uh, technical things you are going to learn all these steps one by one okay so do watch all these lectures and uh, i hope that you will got complete points one by one okay so now here is in front of you a typical diagram of a distributed system distributed system if you want to learn distributed systems typical diagram provided by oracle so if you will see here a network is there this is a node so let's say this is node 1 this is our node 2 this is node 3 let's say this is node 4 this is not 5 and let's say this is not 6 so different nodes are there you can also say them different computing devices are there you can also say that different components are there which are working at let's say they are working in different network they are working in different network from different geographical locations but putting efforts for a single common goal to achieve our single common goal they are working in the same network from different areas from different arenas from different software component parts right from on different hardwares on different operating systems it might be any cases but they are working for a single network to achieve our common goal this is the concept of distributed system okay now let's see the basics of types of distributed system if we discuss about types of distributed systems on the basis of nodes in the distributed systems it can be arranged in the form of client server systems or peer to peer systems if we talk about client server systems then the client request a resource and the server provides that resource means in client server system if we talk about a client is there and a server is there right you can simply understand this example with your web browser you are a client you are uh, sending some request to server and server is providing that request to you the response of that request to you let's say in your web browser you have typed some www.google.com when this request will go to the server the respective server of the google will provide the resources that you have asked for but the one concept here is one client can access one server at a time but a single server can be available to many clients at the same time 
means www.google.com can provide resources to many clients at a time but if we are a single client we can access only one server at a time at a time okay this is the client server system if we talk about peer to peer system the concept is very simple the peer to peer systems contains nodes that are equal participants in data sharing means let's say there are five systems so the data sharing the work would be equally divided between them and they will work along with that let's say you are completing your project so you are a member of four so all members will divide equal work and by doing this work you can say that it is an example of peer to peer systems right so on the basis of nodes in the distributed systems it can be divided into client server system or peer to peer systems right so guys this is the basic introduction of distributed system which i have covered in this video in our next video we are going to discuss about architecture of distributed systems hardware and software components of distributed systems advantages and disadvantages of distributed system issues with distributed systems and many more things regarding distributed system so do subscribe our youtube channel for more such videos and guys do like it do share it with your friends and stay tuned with us guys have a very very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat